What's going on guys, it's David and we're back with another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Humane AI pin and if you should cop or drop it. This AI pin has been getting a lot of hate and I can understand why anything new from the beginning of time always gets a little bit of criticism because people just do not like change. I, on the other hand, am giving it the benefit of the doubt and just wanna see how it is. I like the idea of this pin, making it so you're off of your screen. I think everybody's screen time is a little bit more than what they want it to be as far as looking at entertainment stuff, like locking in and scrolling on reels for a little bit more time than you wanted. So the fact that there's no screen on this, I feel like is gonna be super good. It seems like this AI pin is more for informing and communicating versus entertainment as our smartphones are right now. Now the AI pin is gonna come in three different colorways. We're gonna have Eclipse which is kind of like a black, a lunar, which is white and silver, and then an equinox, which is your black and silver. I pre-ordered the equinox, so if you guys want to see an unboxing day in the life and all that good stuff, make sure you're subscribed and uh, don't forget to like and comment on this video right here. Appreciate you guys as always. So you might be wondering, how are you gonna interact with this pin without a display? So this is where it gets a little bit interesting. We have the regular actions that we have in other devices, such as voice command and touching the device itself by activating it but now we have a new activation as well which is going to be that laser ink display now this seems like it can be a little bit of a gimmick but it did excite me i can't lie they might have hooked me with this one just by itself it basically projects an image onto your hand and you can control it by using your thumb and your middle finger to tap it together like this and it looks sick I can't lie, it looks sick. And again, it might be a gimmick and they might be getting me because I did pre-order it, but just that alone, I don't know, it just reminded me of some sci-fi movies and I was like, wow, we're actually getting kind of crazy as far as technology goes. Now I will say there is no testing. There has been no in-person testing for anybody. Usually, you know, bigger influencers are going to these events and actually testing the device out, whether they can record it or not. But there's been no testing. So if <laughs> if it works, I'm gonna be super hyped. If it's not too good, then obviously you guys are gonna know first by me getting this on pre-order. So I am excited either way. Now the AI pin is made up of two different pieces. So that's how you're gonna be able to connect it to your shirt. One is gonna go on the inside and one is gonna go on the outside, obviously. So the piece that's gonna go on the inside is your battery pack. It's gonna be connected kind of like MagSafe on your iPhone where you click it and it charges the actual computer itself, which is gonna be that first part. That's gonna have your camera, laser ink projector, and your sensors so once those get together then you have a complete product and that's how it's gonna work now you do not need that back battery pack there is different adapters but apparently without that battery pack the device isn't gonna last all day it has some juice in the front of it but from what they were saying it's only gonna last a couple of hours if that now something that was super interesting and I think is gonna be an uphill battle for these guys is they wanted to replace your iPhone not just be a part of an ecosystem that you already have but completely completely replace it. So that by itself is gonna be super interesting, especially with Apple having watches and whatnot, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. I would see this as joining an ecosystem more than replacing it right away. It's gonna be difficult for me not to have my phone just because of all the tasks that I'm already able to do. It doesn't seem like you're gonna be able to project a whole calendar and add notes and all that stuff on your hand. It seems like there's gonna be a lot of getting used to not to have a full visual there, but I guess we're just gonna have to see and test it out. It's is definitely something you're gonna have to get used to. I just don't know how long it's gonna take for people to get used to that because I don't see other companies not adding a display anytime soon. It seems like all other companies are actually adding displays to anything, making them better resolution and bigger as we speak. Now you might be asking, how are you gonna replace your whole phone if you have no display? How are you gonna use apps, all that stuff? Well, there are no apps with this AI pin. Everything is legitimately gonna be AI. So you're just gonna be sending it commands and it's gonna store it into your humane account. And that's basically how you're gonna have to track your information. I know there is some type of hub that you can go into your computer and check things just to make sure everything aligns, but that is gonna be something that's super interesting because it seems like it might get a little unorganized quickly. Now, the one major drawback for a lot of people that I've been seeing is that price point. The Equinox by itself is $799.99, basically $800. And the other two colorways are gonna be $699. I'm not sure why there's a $100 difference, but I did get the more expensive one. 
just because I like the color combo. I hope they didn't get me on that. I hope there's something different that I get, something extra, but we're gonna see whenever it gets here. You're also gonna have to pay for a monthly membership of $24.99. So, uh, it's a little, it's getting a little steep. And I will say the subscription does make a little bit of sense because you're gonna have T-Mobile services and extra goodies, just like having a title subscription and other things as well. That being said, I don't use Tidal. I wish they had Apple more integrated, but I can understand how Apple and the AI pin are not gonna mesh too well, considering that they're ex-Apple employees. I don't know, we'll see maybe if the AI pin does super well, we'll have some type of joint <laughs> partnership, but I can't say I see that in the near future. So overall, I do like the idea of the Humane AI pin. It seems interesting. I'm not sure if it's gonna replace an iPhone just yet. It still seems more like an accessory, like an Apple Watch or something of that sort versus replacing my whole phone. It's going to be a little bit difficult to do that for a while, but I'm going to try that in a day in the life coming very soon once the AI pins get released to the public. And yeah, I'm excited. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for more AI pin news and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.